We have an encouraging update following a weekend warning about a major whale migration off the coast. A program designed to help keep those animals safe is showing increasing success. ABC 7 weather anchor Spencer Christian back with us now for a closer look. Hi Spencer. Okay Larry, uh, the goal is to get vessels, seagoing vessels, to slow down and avoid collisions with these whales. And marine experts say that's never been more important than it is right now. Watching humpback whales spouting off our coast is a magnificent experience. But now, marine experts are hoping it can help save lives, too. Well, right now we're asking everybody to keep an eye for spout. So if you see a spout, watch out. Jennifer Stock is with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration and an outreach specialist with the Greater Farallons and Cordell Bank Marine Sanctuaries. NOAA has issued a warning for the area because of a chain migration you could describe as a floating buffet line. So we're seeing a lot of prey, mostly anchovy, a type of fish that schools and is really healthy and nutritious for whales. Um, there's also krill, and it happens to be quite close to the coast right now, and the whales are here because they're here to feed, to fatten up for the winter. And they say that feeding pattern is drawing humpback whales and other species closer and closer to potential human contact. Whale watchers and spotters from the Marine Mammal Center in Sausalito are reporting sightings up and down the coast from Monterey to Mendocino. We've heard of dozens of reports of sightings of whales today in Pacifica. We've had a number of whales reported in the Golden Gate Strait and underneath the Golden Gate Bridge and even into San Francisco Bay. The Marine Mammal Center's Kathy George says both large and smaller vessels can be a threat to the whales and sometimes vice versa. Absolutely. Any size vessel could hit a whale or a whale could hit any size vessel. Um, the risks are higher for the people when the vessel size is smaller and the risks are higher for the whale when the ship is larger. While oil tankers and large container ships are the deadliest threat, the Bay Area is seeing major progress in limiting the risk. High-tech buoys placed by the Benioff Ocean Science Lab can now relay warnings when they detect whales in the area. And an increasing percentage of shipping companies are participating in a voluntary vessel speed reduction program, slowing down to avoid collisions. So the preliminary analyses are showing that we have about 74% of the distance traveled by these large vessels in the months of June and July um, at whale safer 10 knots or less. NOAA's Jessica Morton says it's difficult to track the exact number of ship strikes because many often occur off the coast. But she says research models show the progress. And so when we look at these reduced speeds from the large vessel community, we can very clearly see that we're significantly reducing the risk of ship strikes for these endangered whale populations. And in the meantime, humpbacks and other species continue to follow the buffet line past our shores, fattening up for the long migration ahead. Now, the Vessel Speed, Pro vessel speed Reduction Program, known as Protecting Blue Whales and Blue Skies, is now celebrating its 10th year anniversary with cooperation, I should say, continuing to build year by year.